a few years ago, I realized I had a major blind spot in my life, and God used a good friend to help point it out. You know, I decided I would take up running to lose some of the baby weight. Now, my youngest was entering elementary school, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm going to take up running. That would be a good goal for me. And so being kind of the all or nothing girl that I can be, I thought, you know what? I know I'm going to sign up for 25K. And my husband was like, are you sure? Like, how about a 5K? And I'm like, no, this is good. I like big goals. So I printed off the training schedule and had it on my refrigerator. And every day I would do the run and highlight it. And it felt good. Now, my husband, he was noticing that I was walking a little bit differently as I was heading into this training program. And he said, are you sure you don't want to just try the 5K or the 10K? I'm like, oh, no. You know what they say? No train, no gain. Like, no pain. I got to keep going. He said, okay, but then my knees began to creak and I began to ache a little bit more. And finally, after about six weeks, John sat me down and he said, honey, I'm so glad that you're taking your health seriously, but this has to stop. I'm asking you to please not run this 25K and just give the 5K a chance. I did not like that one bit. (laughs) And so I pouted and then I prayed and then I called my best friend and said, I need you to pray which really meant I need you to pray that God changes John's mind because I got some training to do. So my friend said, okay, I'll pray. And she called me the next day and I thought, oh good, I can get my running shoes ready. (laughs) And she said, Cindy, I prayed all night long for you. And I said, oh, okay. Can I come over and talk to you? Oh, sure. Should we go for a run? And she said, oh no, I just want to come talk. When I asked my friend for permission to share this story, she said, make sure you communicate how hard this was for me to come and talk to you. So this was not an easy conversation. But my friend came over and she said, Cindy, I think you need to let the running go. I said, what? (laughs) God said that. And she said, I have prayed for you. And my sense is if you let this go, it will be better for your marriage if you would respect your husband then if you continue with this training program, I think you really need to let it go. Friends, I had a blind spot in my life because the reality was I did put running before my marriage or before my family. I had a blind spot in my life and thankfully God used my friend so that I could see. In what areas of your life are you blind?